So did you know that hidden in your spice rack are some powerful health benefits? Health and wellness expert Rose Reisman is here this morning to help us make the most of our spices. Something We've got oh, them right yeah. in our kitchen, right? We, we, you know, I think there's literally hundreds of spices. Take a yeah. look at just what I've brought out here. And one of the things I love about spices, I mean, they've been used all over the world for centuries to combat ailment. But think about it. We're so used to using our salt shaker That's on right. everything. I love to use spices in my cooking because I can throw this over my shoulder, throw a little salt over your shoulder, get rid of it, start using this. And these are so much better for you. They're so much better. And so let's first of all start with, look at my paella dish it over there. It looks beautiful. Well, what gives it that gorgeous color is something called saffron. So saffron is something called liquid gold because in a little package, you'll see, I don't know if we can catch that Probably or not. Probably can, the, the kind look of reddish that. color. The Almost reddish the color. color. These are like the yeah, little, there they're it is. called the stigmas of the crocus family. And the reason this is expensive is because these little guys are picked manually still but what's beautiful about this it gives it that gorgeous color that yellowy pink color yes. but they're finding a lot of great health benefits with this number one the redness ultimately starts preventing tumors okay so they notice it in terms of cancer that it might reduce the risk of tumors also aluminum toxicity that we get from all the canned yes. foods causing memory loss it may start in the prevention of that as well so these are things that we really want to pay attention to and also the generation of the retina so lots of good benefits you can use it in paellas in Indian in curry cooking as well that lovely flavor yeah mm. so let's come over here for a minute ginger okay. ginger's my favorite yeah this is too. what the ginger root looks yes. like and you're gonna be shocked Marcy because you can actually grate ginger with the skin on okay and I'll use it for a beautiful sesame uh, ginger garlic sauce you won't know, you don't have to peel it away. This can be stored at room temperature in your cupboard. And the beauty about ginger, think about what's got ginger, ginger ale. Why did we always drink ginger ale? Yeah. To settle the stomach. Settle the stomach. Yeah. So one of the things that it's used for is that it also helps travel sickness, nausea. Women that have nausea in pregnancy, this may also help them. They're even doing studies with colon cancer in ginger. So great use for it. How about like nice, nice hot toddy, right? With a little well, ginger exactly. in you it. Can smell, I mean, you just did that. You grated a little bit and the you smell. You smell it is it's, beautiful. It is. Yes, it's lovely. All right, now, cinnamon coffee cake. Yummy. Who doesn't love it? Yummy. Cinnamon is in your hot toddies, in your lattes. Use it for everything. I love to use it in my couscous, my quinoa dishes. Yes. But cinnamon is also a great spice because it can actually be anti-blood clotting. Okay, think about it for colds. Why do we always have a hot toddy? It helps sore throats, right. helps the sinuses. So again, great benefits there. Wonderful. And, and, now, and does it matter, before we get to that, does it matter whether it's in its natural form or whether, or whether it's powdered? Well, you know what? Very few people are going to really take this and grind it down. Yeah. But you know what? If you want a flavoring, I love to put this into my couscous while it's cooking. So just plop it into your pot. Right. The essence will come out. For a cake, naturally, you don't want chunks of cinnamon, right. cinnamon bark. Good to know. So good to know for sure. All right. And then finally, turmeric. And turmeric is a spice used, again, in African Indian cuisine. Yes. Take a look at the dark orange. Keep in mind one thing, Marcy, anything that's got dark, dark colors always has antioxidant properties. Okay. And the antioxidant here is called curcumin, okay? And this actually, again, works against cancer growth, which is very, very important, lowers cholesterol and helps blood clot, uh, preventing blood clots, which is Amazing. good. So here, all I've got is some bell peppers, onions. I've dusted some chicken that's being cooked. So this is almost like a bit of a stir fry, but now I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric to it. Just a pinch. Just a pinch, and that's gonna give it that beautiful yellow color. I'm now going to add in some coconut milk, light coconut milk, which is really reduced in fat and cholesterol. A Little bit of that, thickening it with a little bit of flour. Okay, put that in. I'm going to add a little salsa to this. A little so bit of easy. lemon juice. So yeah. easy. Simmer this up all of about two minutes. Just take a look at Can you start smelling? Oh, now watch. I want lovely. you to start looking at the color change. Yes. That's a turmeric. So all these great health benefits. I love and to just serve it over coconut. some. Mm. Isn't that nice? Brown yes. rice, a few chopped cashews on top, a little bit of cilantro or parsley. So why not eat Cortis. healthy? And maybe, you know what, you'll prevent certain ailments and diseases that you know people have been doing for centuries. Rose, this is wonderful. Thank you mm. so much. Thank that you. looks delicious. Smells good too. So you'll find Rose's turmeric chicken recipe right on our website, CanadaAM.ctvnews.ca. Now, showing off your flowers. Todd's outside. <laughs>